Howdy! In this video, we're going to go over the map function in JavaScript. Um, so we've gone over the filter function and we've also gone over the reduce function. This time it's the map function. Um, and I've set up this basic file, so we've got you know an array of numbers. We've also got an array of more complex objects, which are more useful for mapping, but you can still use it for other stuff. So let's go, let's get to it. Um, so what is mapping? Well, essentially what mapping is, is taking a value um, and mapping it to another value, right? So we take x and we instead we want to say, uh, we want x actually to be equal to x times 1, for example. Oh, no, that would make no sense. x times 2, what we've then done is we've basically mapped x to x times 2. Um, or maybe we want to get a list of just the colors of the cards that we have in stock well we would basically iterate over the the cars and we would map every value so every car in the array to um, a single value which will be the color so we would map the car to the color and then output a, a, a series of an array with just colors in it this would make more sense if we actually go through this um, so the way i like to do these is we start off by doing like the for loop method so let's start off, for example, by, um, and I'm going to start off with the cars array. What we're going to do is we're going to take the cars array and we are going to um, map and find out what colors we have in stock, right? So to do this with a for loop, let's say, uh, let, uh, actually we can say loop result equals that. Then we can say for uh, car of cars. Uh, what do we need to do next? Well, what we need to do next is we need to do a loop result push car dot, uh, did I say color? Yeah, it doesn't matter. And then what we can do is use my own little log function down here to log the loop result. And what we're expecting to see, uh, actually this might be a pain. Uh, we might need to do something slightly different to loop to actually log this. Okay, if we do, 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 run the right file. Yeah, so we see red, blue, black. So what we've done is we've taken this, this array of cars and we've mapped all the values to just the colors. But we could do this um, with map. So let's do that. So let's do um, const map result and what we can do is you can say cars dot map car car dot color like that uh, and then we can just log that so in this case I'm going to log filter map result actually I should say map result I don't know why I've left it with filter from an old video and you can see it does the exact same thing again. So we've got with for loop and then what we've done with map. And you can obviously see that using map was far simpler. It was one line. Uh, it's abundantly clear what it's doing. It's taking cars and mapping it to car.color, as in just the colors. So what's map actually doing? Well, this is an array or it's an iterable. It doesn't matter if it's an array. It just has to be iterable. Um, so we can loop over it, in other words. And then map is a callback, is, is calling a callback for every single item in the list. So in this case, every single one of these cars, so one, two, three, it's going to run this function here and take car and return the car color. So we can also do, and I showed you this in the previous videos as well, we can also map this. So we could say, you know, the mapper function, we could uh, simply say, um, it'll be something like car to car dot color like that and we could swap out this whole thing here for mapper and now it's even more concise and it works um, so that's another thing you can do and of course this is useful if you wanted to define these in multiple places or you wanted to do some more higher order stuff um, so that's that's one thing we can do um, with mapping. From from now on, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm only going to focus on using the map function as opposed to using the loop. Uh, so what we'll do 
is we'll knacker off that a second and we'll just come down here and let's now think about what what we want to do um, what we could use map for we could also say use map to take all the values in the array so in the, in the numbers array so we could take the values we could map them and let's say we want to increase them all by 20 percent so what we could do is we could say num and that's just an arbitrary uh, variable name there is going to be num times 1.2 for 20 percent so if now we log the result we're expecting to see all of these values increase by 20 percent so we'll do the same thing again we'll log that and you can see here yes indeed we've actually uh, increased all the values by 20 percent and we've done that with a mapping function so that's really useful in cases where for example you might want to i know maybe these are all well they're all values you want to increase by 20 percent i suppose um, what we can also do with map though, uh, and I've shown this in the previous one with filter and reduce, is you can chain these functions together to make this really concise and easy to understand syntax. So going back to the cars example, um, let's say for example that we wanted to find out what the average speed of the Fiat cars are, right? So we've got to do a, a number of things there. We've got to first get all of the Fiat uh, cars We've then got to map the speeds of the cars, and then we've got to do some computation on that to get the average. Okay, so the way we do that is actually let's let's do it. Let's just do the average of all like all the speeds right to begin with. We can do cars dot um, map car. Whoops, car.speed. So we're going to map to the speed of the car. And then we can chain it to a reduce function. And we're passing the accumulator and the value there. Uh, see my previous video if you don't understand what the reduce function is doing. Uh, I've got a video on that. We'll explain it a little bit more clearly. Uh, we're going to get the sum of all those. And then we want to get the average. So we can, just, we can do car.length. Oh, no, not car.length. Cars. Dot length like that and what you can see then is we get the average speed of all the cards in the array so that's uh, quite a nice thing that we can do um, with map and it, you can just keep chaining this with more and more uh, functions like this and if we have to do this sort of thing with the loops it gets slightly more complicated the syntax becomes a bit weirder uh, well not weirder it just becomes more laborious and the more dense whereas you can see here this is really simple and it's easy to read when you know what reducers do and when you know what maps do it, it becomes second nature to sort of read these sort of things so hopefully you've enjoyed this video uh, if you have leave a thumbs up uh, maybe subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and uh, thank you very much for watching bye bye